So let's look at our uh, first sample problem. For a class experiment, your teacher asks you to prepare 2.0 liters of 0 0.10 moles per liter sulfuric acid. This acid is sold as an 18 moles per liter concentration, concentrated solution. How much of the concentrated solution should be used to make the new solution with the correct concentration? Okay. So what we have here is the following. We've purchased that, con that high of a concentrated level of the sulfuric acid. We only want, the lab, right, the, the write-up of the lab says, we only want two liters of this concentration right here. Look at how diluted we want that concentration to be. Right? A lot stronger, right? very many moles per liter of sulfuric acid in this, in this stock solution. So we want to dilute it. So we want to look at our volume and our concentration of our stock system. Then we want to find the volume and the concentration of our diluted version. Our volume is 2.0 liters. Our concentration is 0 0.10 moles per liter. And as I said, you can write it as 0 0.10 moles per liter or 0 0.10 M for moles per liter. So now, what do we have of our stock system? Well, we have the concentration, which is 18 moles per liter or 18 M. We want to figure out how much volume, so how much of that do we want to take out? That's our X. So we can do it in, one of, uh, in a couple of ways. We can use the old equation and then kind of uh, manipulate it, or we can just use our, the equation that I showed at the beginning of the lesson, where it was our V times C of our stock solution is equal to the volume and concentration of our diluted. So once we've got our equation, then we substitute. So the volume, we don't know what that is of our concentrated solution. So we have x. x is being multiplied by the, um, the concentration of our stock system, which is 18 moles per liter equals, what is the volume of our diluted, okay, the volume as we have here, oops, 2.0 liters multiplied by our uh, concentration of our diluted, which is 0 0.10 moles per liter. So we want to isolate for x. To do that, we're going to divide this side by 18 moles per liter, which means what I do on this side, I must do to this side. These divide out, and I'm left with just x is equal to 2.0 liters times 0 0.10 moles per liter over 18 moles per liter. Notice here, my units cancel out. Look at the units that I have. Remember that when you have volume, your volume must be in liters. Okay, so make sure that you make your, uh, your adjustments if you are dealing with milliliters. So when you multiply top and bottom and divide by the bottom there, we get 0 0.011. And what is the and so we we know the units are in liters. So we look at the least number of significant digits of my question. What are they? Two. So we just leave it at that. So it then asks how much of the concentrated solution uh, should be used to make the new solution. Well, we're gonna want to take out this many liters, but you're not gonna want to measure it in liters. You can leave it at that. Your best bet would be to convert it to milliliters because milliliters you'll have a smaller graduated cylinder it'll be easier for you 
to, uh, to convert it. So how many milliliters? Pardon? 11. 